Let's turn attention to River State, where protesters continued with their strict processions in parts of Port Harcourt. There was a heavy security presence as the protesters voiced their demands on the third day. The correspondent Uchi Okuru reports. The protesters gathered at the same point along the Port Harcourt Abba Expressway. When the crowd grew to a sizable number, they hit the road. So far, the protests have been peaceful, but residents say it will stay that way with the cooperation of security agencies. We have enough uh, policemen. We have um, we have people who are on ground, of course, keeping... It has been very peaceful. But the challenge we have today is that we have the presence of military, you know, and military men, and, you know, the place is volatile, the area is volatile. We don't want a situation where people now see military and, you know, start... Of course, you know that the way military addresses issues and police are different ways. So that's the only fear we have for today. But so far, it has been very good. The protest is uh, going on peacefully, but there is a challenge. Of course, the presence of the high-powered security personnel. Today, as you can see, we are seeing ministry presence. So that is just a challenge. People are scared of coming out to, you know, engage in a peaceful protest as a result of the level of intimidation on the part of the military. They shifted their attention to a different part of the metropolis. We are just asking for the basics. First, to bring down the price of fuel, which affects everything that the common man has to survive with in Nigeria. That's what we are asking for. The protesters promised to show up tomorrow and the next until they reach the 10-day mark. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.